how to export this file so it's ready for import into the monitors. You can export in both Windows and Mac, but for the import or upload to the monitors part, you'll need Windows either on a PC or on Mac to do the upload. So there's the measurement Steve just did. Now it will export some parameters in your settings here and others it won't and it won't, doesn't matter. It's excellent without those parameters. We always leave linear phase set to, uh, set to that anyway. Um, listening spot, it won't matter if it's enabled or disabled, it won't import. This is the one that's critical and will import. It's your limit on your frequencies. It's essential you set them both to extended to get the full frequency range of your measurement, both in the low and in the high frequencies. And this will import. Save headroom, that won't matter whether it's engaged or not. The same with calibration. Uh, you need it enabled at the moment though. So that's the settings that you should make before you export. Flat target is the one you're going to export. It's a, your main room and the most accurate of everything. You can export customs or translations check, but uh, that's not how you should work. You should work with this. You can check these customs and translations check in your door, separate to the speakers being uh, uploaded. Now, how to do it? Come over to your profile there, Sing Sing. This box here, where it says flat target, hover over it, see the three dots. Drop down box comes out, click export. Select us, of course. There you go. Now it's ready for export. It will automatically by default go to your Sonoworks profiles folder. You may find it advantageous to create a folder on your desktop as you may have different measurements going from studio to studio that you want to upload as you move around. Or you might do different measurements you want to try. So you browse for a location. Um, let's go to my desktop. I've got some profiles here that I'm mucking around with. So I'll save it there. Click open. Now it's ready. There's the destination. Export. And done. It gives you validation. So what you should do now is of course disable the app. Otherwise you're going to get double calibration when you're listening to the monitors. Uh, done. Quit the app. and you're ready to uh, import.